Welcome to the Jill on Money Show. It is Sunday, March 31st. Happy Easter to all who are celebrating today. If you have a financial question, if you have a big life issue, if there's some change going on that you would like us to help you out with, then just go to our website, jillonmoney.com. Click the Contact Us button. And check the box if you want to come on the air live with us. While you're on the website, don't forget to check out all the content that lives there. We have a blog, we have a radio section, and you can also check out our show on YouTube. It's called Jill on Money, powered by The Compound. That is where the community over at The Compound came up with the idea of creating jillionaires. I like that. Pretty cool. Okay, today we are talking to Chris, who's on the line from North Carolina. Hello, Jill and Mark. Um, I have a multi-part question. My first question would be, um, what is the hierarchy of saving priority? So, you know, obviously emergency fund, hit your 401k match. I'm assuming max out your Roth IRA, but then if you have access to other accounts, where does it go from there? I'm fortunate to work for a company that has an HSA on top of you know, a for traditional 401k. So what is the best path for savings? Okay, great. So let's, let's kind of go through this. Chris, how old are you? I'm 39. Okay. Are you partnered, married? Married. How old is your spouse? 37. Kids? Two, five and three. And uh, do you own a home? Yes. Tell me how much is that house worth? Roughly 500. Do you have an outstanding mortgage on the property? Roughly 300. Do you know the interest rate? Three and a half. Good. And do you have an emergency reserve fund right now? I do. Uh, It's about 56. Do both you and your um, spouse work? We do. Okay. How much do you guys earn together? Mm, About 175. 175. Let's talk about retirement savings for each of you. What are you putting away into your 401k at work, which is you said is a traditional? I actually have a Roth option. Uh, and from listening to you uh, for the past couple of months, uh, I did switch all my uh, contributions to Roth. I believe I'm putting in roughly 8 to 10% mm-hmm. um, into Roth. I also have a retirement plan from my company that it's, you know, retirement plan slash pension um, that they contribute solely on their own. And I I did max out my Roth IRA this year as well. Okay. So you're putting like 8% of your salary in the Roth and then a Roth IRA also. So tell me about spousal contributions. What are, what's happening on that side? She is a teacher. So she has, she will get a uh, state employee pension. Nice. Um, and she just started this year. Uh, she opened a 403B and right. I believe is contributing Roth as well to that. And how much is she putting into that? I want to say about 3000 a year. Uh, not much, uh, you know, teacher salary. Yep. So. Yep. But she's putting three grand into that. And then, but she's also maxing out her own Roth. Uh, she does not have a Roth IRA herself. No. Okay. So Jesse, okay. So we've got, but we got a lot of money going into retirement. So that's great. And there's a pension. HSA, are you maxing that out through work? I am not. Uh, so that's one of my, I guess, questions is should I defer some of my 401k to max out the HSA? We have a mortgage. Any other debt outstanding? No. Any savings for kids' education or end? Is that important to you? Uh, yes and yes. Um, unfortunately, or fortunately, however you want to look at it, I uh, inherited some money earlier this year. Uh, my father passed away. Oh. And one of his uh, requests was to put money away for both of his grandchildren uh, for college. So I put about 75 each. Uh, one of them is about uh, at 80 grand and the other is about 76 grand. Based on calculators, that's what we assumed would be uh, in-state four-year covered. Are you putting that in a 529 plan or just a separate account? Uh, they're both in 529s. Great. So is the 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 essential question whether you should be doing more in retirement versus HSA versus a, just a plain old brokerage account? Is that come, Can I kind of get you down to that place? I guess what's the best placement for my money in those types of accounts? Okay. Um, you know, where would I maximize my uh, returns and, you know, ideally not have to really worry about 
pulling money out of retirement for health care costs. On your $175,000, given the fact that you're putting money into your Roth 401k, that you're putting money into your HSA, that you're putting your wife is putting money into obviously a, a pension contribution and a 403b, how's your cash flow? Like, are you tight every single month? So we do things that uh, I don't know if it's uh, traditional or not. Um, I tend to take care of all of the main household expenses. So I'm pretty tapped every every month. My wife is the saver. So family vacations, um, you know, any sort of household project, she's the one that has the, uh, the piggy bank, so to speak. Okay. And does she feel that she is like on, is her salary tapped out or not? No, no. She's able to save uh, uh, a decent amount per month. So what do you think is the actual cash flow that we're talking about when you say like every month I have a certain amount of money? Are you asking me whether you should put less money in your 401k and more in your HSA? Or are you saying, should some of the money that my wife is earning kind of be shifted over into the savings category? More so the first question, you know, what is the, the right am, combination. I making, am I making a mistake by not maxing out my HSA? How much money is in that 401k right now? Uh, my 401k has just a hair under 79000 But there, there's a caveat. Uh, I do have some of that inheritance money uh, in two brokerage accounts. Oh, wait a minute. We're holding back here. So, okay. How much is in that brokerage account? Uh, well, one was a, uh, it was a Roth roll. My father had a uh, IRA rollover. Uh, so that's where one of the brokerage accounts was. And the other, um, I opened based on sale of the home proceeds. Both of those brokerages combined have 332800 And let's break it down. How much is in the IRA rollover from dad? 219 and and how much is in the um, taxable account? One thirteen. I think that this is great to have all this money. I think you should be maxing your retirement four hundred one k, and not do the HSA. And here's why: I don't know how big a pension your wife's going to get, but I think you are sort of underfunded on retirement this second. And I'd rather you have a bunch of money that's going into the Roth IRA and the Roth four hundred one k. How much is your salary alone? One hundred eight. 108. Yeah. I mean, I think that you could be putting in 15%, you know, 18% into your Roth 401k and also putting money into your Roth IRA. I think that's preferable to the HSA. So the, I, I do have a balance that's in the company sponsored retirement plan that I cannot contribute to. That's 86,000. Yeah. I don't think that actually, I mean, it's, it's, it's like not, I don't want to like say, oh my God, you're screwed. That, that's not what I'm saying. Right. I just think that you will have more flexibility with the Roth rather than the HSA. And okay. so I think that we should be focused on retirement. I think that if your wife didn't have healthcare through the pension and all those caveats over there, which is usually, usually when you're an employee of a municipality, your healthcare is pretty good. So I'm not saying you won't need an HSA, but I think for the time being, while you are in this current situation, I think that I'd rather you have the Roth savings, number one. So here's your hierarchy of savings. You've already done your emergency reserve. You don't have any other debt. And I think maximizing your Roth makes a lot of sense. So if you were putting something like, you know, 18% into your Roth 401k and just letting that click along for a while. If you then start having the cash flow to absorb it, then I would put some money in the HSA. Okay. And I think that makes sense. I love that the education is a done deal. It's like phew, done. Cross yeah. that off the list. A couple of other quick questions for you. Okay. Yes. Life insurance. What do you got? Uh, myself, I have a million twenty five. Mm -hmm. uh, which uh, has 14 years left on the policy. Okay. Uh, uh, my wife has, I think, three quarter mil. We're we're actually in in talks about renewing our plan. Um, we did it in Better Health and prior to children. Um, you know, and with having only 14 years left on the policy, we're wondering is it worth an extra uh, a bump in premium uh, to renew to get a 20 year policy. 
Yeah, it might be. I would just, you know, check out what's available online, check out what the cost would be. It may not be that mu- that expensive. So um, it might be just fine to say, like, let's just do a 20 year term policy. How much would it be? Or even just get extra. So, you know, you might say, like, we just maybe you'll have this for, you know, so many more years and it only gets you to like 17 for the kid, right? 14 years to go, right? right. So maybe you just say, like, let's just get. 500 grand on each. Because remember, part of the issue here is that over the next 14 years, you're going to save more money. So that means that actually your life insurance need is reduced. So it may be interesting for you to run these numbers just to find out how much would we really need. But I wouldn't go crazy with it because I think you're in very, you're probably in better shape than you think when it comes to your insurance position. Okay. All right. How about wills? Uh, We have them done. Very good. You get a big gold star. If you would like to join us and run some scenarios by us or make sure that you're on the right track, whatever you're trying to accomplish, just go to our website, jillonmoney.com, click the contact us button. And don't forget to check the box if you'd like to come on the air. You can subscribe to us on the Odyssey app or wherever you find your favorite podcast. Do something nice for someone else today. Change your work, change your wealth, change your life. Thank you for listening and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow.